And tonight we're hearing from directly a young student who is pictured with a teacher's foot on his neck. This was at a North, elementary, uh, North Texas elementary school. It did happen. The picture started circulating pretty quickly on Facebook and Greenville ISD then put the teacher involved on administrative leave while they investigate. So what's the real story here? Well, some in the family tonight tell us that including that very student who you'll hear from, they don't see a problem with what happened. Our Nicole Nielsen explains from Greenville. I think she was doing it as a joke, like she didn't like put pressure on it or anything. Tonight, Zaylin Jackson, the 11 year old student of Greenville ISD seen in this controversial photo with his teacher's foot on his neck is speaking out. I feel like she was just playing and she didn't mean harm. For context, his mother, who didn't want to speak on camera, says she's known the teacher as a friend for years. Zaylin says he also considers her his friend, but he explains what happened yesterday at Lamar Elementary School. The teacher gave me a note and she said, my mom can uh, put, put her foot on my neck if she have to. I did go with the joke because like, I don't think she was going to put pressure and she never did. But he does understand what it may look like to others. People think she was just trying to copy George Floyd. Including some of his family members who were deeply unhappy with the photo. No matter what race, what person, you don't put your foot on nobody else's child. Today, the district superintendent said, joke or not, a photo like that should never have been taken. Whether the student was a willing participant or not, if it was a staged picture or not, um, it was still extremely highly inappropriate and should not have taken place and definitely should not have been photographed. And though the picture has created quite a stir, Zaylin himself has a final message. I don't think she should be fired. In Greenville, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News. And so you know, the district says tonight that their investigation into the teacher will include any witnesses and any people who may have also been involved in that.